Hi everyone, Daniel from Quantum Blast. Daily you'll get asked the question of what media should I be using for my sandblasting. So today we're going to run through a few of the most common uh, that are available in the market in Australia today. So today we've got a few of the most common. We've got glass bead, crushed glass, soda, almondine garnet which is a rock garnet, alluvial garnet which is a beach garnet or a river garnet, storolite, and aluminium oxide. So basically my phone rings, I answer, hey Daniel, what media should I be using? My answer is always it depends. What are you blasting? What are you trying to achieve? Other things to consider is also whether or not you're going to be recycling your media for further use or whether it's just a one-time blast to waste. So we'll start with glass bead. So typically used in a cabinet, either wet or dry. Um, Good for many different purposes, but mainly for cleaning and uh, finishing or deburring anything that uh, might be fabricated. So second up, we've got crushed glass. This is an interesting one because uh, it's very popular in dustless or wet abrasive blasting. Um, it's pretty much uh, got a good hold of their market in Australia when it comes to either of those things. Um, it's important that you look for a clean, washed, crushed glass, a lot of it can uh, contain a lot of impurities which will cause you issues with uh, embedment and blockages in your machine. Bicarb soda is uh, also very popular in Australia. Um, it can be a little bit expensive to purchase, uh, is quite a soft media, so it's best for things like cleaning timber, uh, oak beams, floors, doors, uh, stairs, that type of thing, um, can be good on cars. Uh, boat hulls, um, any food processing equipment because it's obviously food grade, um, but it, uh, it really is limited in uh, what it can blast, but definitely serves its purpose. Probably the most common media in sandblasting in Australia is garnet. Now there's two different types of garnet and they serve two very different purposes. So we've got the almondine or rock garnet and the alluvial garnet which is a beach or a river garnet. It's important to know what makes them different. So an almondine gar uh, garnet is a, a rock garnet that's mined from a rock, as it, as it sounds. Um, it creates a much sharper edge uh, to each grain. Uh, alluvial garnet, on the other hand, is a much uh, rounder profile uh, media. The advantage of that is in any booth blasting or where you're recycling, um, you'll get a lot longer life out of it because it doesn't break down uh, on impact as much as what an almondine rock garnet does. Um, avail obviously available in different mesh sizes which we've covered in another one of our videos. So if you want to uh, look more into that, feel free to check it out. Storolite, whilst it's uh, pretty difficult to come across these days, was very popular as a blasting media because of its price point. Um, it came in a, a fair bit cheaper than what Garnet did um, and has, shares a lot of similarities and a lot of uh, the particles in the store of light are actually very similar to what's in the Garnet. Um, you'll actually find there is a percentage of Garnet in the store of light. Um, quite a hard uh, media as well um, and multi-purpose similar to that of, uh, of Garnet. So the last one we're going to talk about today is aluminium oxide. As you can see, it's a very hard rating on the uh, scale, um, which is also very good for uh, recycling um, or any tough and hard uh, surfaces that you need to blast. Also available in different mesh sizes. Uh, this is quite a fine mesh, this one. This is a 240 mesh, which we actually use in a wet blast cabinet or vapor blast cabinet. Um, when it's this small, it can actually be used for polishing, believe it or not, whereas uh, if you get it in a uh, 80 mesh or a 36 year above, it's, um, yeah, it'll rip through any surface that you put in front of it.